y'all, I am back with another video. Video. Hey, video. Video. Hey. Hey, y'all, welcome back to another video. If you are new, my name is Avril, and this is Home with a Naturalista. So I am back with another cooking video. It's been about too much time, okay? And I just wanted to basically do a very quick video. I'm about to fry some Escovich fish, which is fried fish Jamaican style, where we got some very pickled, spiced, I don't know what you call it, but onions and carrots on top of it and basically fried but not deep fried so it's still a bit meaty because i haven't made a cooking video in a while and some of my subscribers have asked what's going on with the cooking channel like i mean not the cooking channel but what's going on with the cooking videos like you know what i'm saying you just went straight to hair what's up you, you don't cook no more so i'm going ahead and like it's probably going to be a very quick video it really doesn't take a lot right now i already rinsed off my fish Oop. If that would have spilled <laughs> so um, I went ahead and rinsed off the fish with some ice um, with some cold water and I went ahead and put a little bit of lemon juice as well as some squeezing some fresh lemon so it's here soaking so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually probably gonna do this video as a voiceover I'm not sure but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to rinse it off I actually have my pot um, I have um, the burner under the pot to get the pot hot so then I could put the oil because it does the most important thing is to make sure the oil is hot so the fish would not stick to the pan. It still happens to me here and there so I'm not perfect but um, for the most part the fish be banging. Okay so we're going to go ahead I'm going to rinse this off I'm going to put some seasoning and we're going to get this thing cooking. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Go, go ahead and check out some more of my videos. It's definitely more to my channel than just random cooking videos <laughs> and do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like go ahead and comment down below let me know what you would like to see big shouts out to all my new subscribers thank you guys so much woo, woo. and let's get started
oil, I do not, you do not want the fish to cover, you do not want the oil to cover the fish. Okay, so yeah, is I didn't, I put probably not even a full half a cup, okay? So, I'm also burning some cinnamon sticks over here. This just helps um, the smell of fish, because I know it stinks, makes the house completely stink. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, this is a scotch bonnet pepper, and basically cut it, cut it and just place it in side of the pot. I cut it in half and I'm just gonna place, I'm actually gonna cut it in threes. Be careful with the spice y'all, please. Just gonna go ahead and drop it in there like that. So it also helps the oil to get some spices to go ahead and go inside of the fish. And I'm mad that my stash first fish in and I'm gonna put two fish in to help the process and as you can see the oil is not covering the fish and I usually make it cook for about uh, eight minutes. Honestly, I go by um, how it looks. So the darker it gets, the faster, the more it's cooked to me. You don't want it to be, I don't like my fish to be crispy. And I have the fire on medium. Well, somewhat in between medium and low, because you don't want it to burn. While that's cooking, I'm gonna start cutting up the onions. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the onions and the carrots. That we are, that we're gonna go ahead and making some vinegar and some stuff with some scotch bonnet pepper. So we all three, we like a lot of onions. So I think I'm just gonna cut this whole. Just make sure you rinse off the tongue that you're probably using from the raw fish before using it on the fried fish, the cooked fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this, test this out. Looking good, and it did not get stuck, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one as well. Could have been a little browner, but that's okay. All right, y'all, so I think these first two are done. I went ahead and made it stay just a little longer just to get more brown color, but for the most part, it is cooked. You can see from the inside 
that the cuts that I put in has bust wide open. Pause. Um, but yeah, try your best not to. So I went, I went ahead and put a paper towel down on the plate just to kind of help to absorb all the oil. And then I'll be able to transfer the fish over to another. But for right now, this is how the fish is looking. So golden, so yummy. As you can see, it is cooked. Being that the slits, you can go ahead and see that. You don't want it to dry out too much. But I'm gonna go ahead, finish off the other four, and then we'll go ahead and do the onions and the carrots, okay? And I'm also going to add, I have some jalapenos and I have a little bit of the scotch bonnet pepper that I have left because I'm out. Usually I just use the scotch bonnet pepper, but I am actually out right now. So we're gonna use what we have because it's just this good. Just gonna go ahead and kind of mix that up. Gonna wait till the onions kind of get transparent and then add the vinegar. I'm gonna add a little vinegar actually, just for it to kinda. But then I'm gonna cover it up so it can cook. And this is obviously gonna be really spicy. Because as I said, I have some scotch bonnet pepper and some jalapeno. Sorry for the noise in the back. It's the fish frying as well as the microwave on. I'm just gonna cover that up and let it cook for about five minutes. All right, y'all, so this is basically done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this as well as the juice into this mason jar and I put some jalapenos in here. I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes just to soak in all the juices and then I will go ahead and put it on top of the escovitch fish. All right, y'all, so um, my memory card was acting a bit funky, so I actually was not able to save the video that I was showing you how I basically apply the onions and the carrots to the top of the fish but this is the finished product this step is not mandatory I just like to kind of have it soak into the vinegar a bit more to keep the spices and the juices all together but for the most part this is the end result this is my version of making escovitch fish Jamaican style um, don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell right next to that, that whenever a video is posted, you'll be one of the first to know. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.